Uh, hello, my name is, name is Jan, and I would like to show you some new features in uh, uh, Furber version 1.1. But first, I will show you ambient occlusion. So we have uh, scene here with just one light, and we will add the ambient light now. So we can adjust the intensity like in Maya. So and now we will put the light attribute from Furibol and turn on the ambient occlusion. Now we have to select and turn on ambient occlusion also in in the Furibol features settings. And now you you see the shadows ambient occlusion under the objects. So for the uh, better better tuning you can uh, you can turn off the beauty channel and turn on the ambient occlusion channel. And now select uh, GI settings and you can adjust many parameters like blur and uh, the angle, angle bias and uh, radius and many other many other features. So now back to beauty beauty channel and uh, you can adduce the intensity of the whole ambient occlusion. Now we can turn on the color breeding. There is no necessary some other uh, settings and now we will see that the colors are bleeds. So you can also turn on the, the special uh, color path, and in the GI settings you can also change many parameters. We have a very nice feature. Uh, let me go back to the normal. And when you when you select some, oh, there's also some uh, some global adjustment for the whole color bleeding. You can choose one object or many, and uh, add the mesh attribute from Freeball. And there is there is uh, special parameters for the ambient occlusion and color bleeding for the, each object, and you can add here how this object bleed out and bleed color in and also how how bleed out the ambient occlusion now this is ambient occlusion bleeding out this is intensity and uh, also there is a color bleeding intensity when you put here some high value the object will start shining The last feature in, in the football 1.1 is the depth of field. So just turn it on, and now you can you can use our utility focus on the selected object, and it will it will create the locator in the scene, and you can also move this locator through the scene in the real time and you will see the behavior of the lenses.
so we can of course do change the uh, focal length and f stop and many other parameter like in uh, all all renders but the results are in real time and uh, the, the behavior of the lens are very very real you can adjust also the quality of the of the blur you can put the higher quality and it's much more slower of course so thank you for attention and we will see you under some next tutorial. Bye.